everyone, Mage904 here, you're welcoming you back to Let's Play Advance Wars, Days of Ruin. Last time I got an unexpected S rank on a mission I suck horribly in. And that was our first encounter with the Great Owl, so now we're gonna have ourselves another one. And this one, uh, you'll see. Enter Chapter 23, Sacrificial Lamb. She's a clone? Yeah, shocker, isn't it? According to Calder, yes. She's one of a group of mass-produced clones, and his daughter. I guess that makes her a clone of Calder. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is completely accurate. What do you mean? Technically, it's possible to create human clones, but even if you duplicate the DNA, the clones are not perfect copies. They're more like a set of twins. Hmm. We don't know if you use recon- recommend recom recom DNA or an extra chromosome. Well, wait, stop. Small words, please. Well, if I were to make a clone myself, I would have a baby with my DNA. But we would have different ages, different environmental influences, and so on. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It would not be possible to engineer a perfect copy of my adult self. That's why I think each as well is a unique, individual person. But Calder talked about them like they were interchangeable. There is another possibility. What if you took those... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> What if you took those clone babies you were talking about, and isolated them? Completely cut them off from the outside world, like rats in a maze. By eliminating all outside influence, you could theoretically mass-produce identical clones. Well, I suppose. In theory, that might work, yes. But such an existence would likely shatter the mind of anyone had to undergo it. Only an ethical monster would think of doing such a thing. We're talking about Calder, Dr. Morris. I don't think he's ever been concerned with ethics. UNDERSTATEMENT OF THE DECADE! Yes, but... Never mind, we're getting distracted. Isabel is what she is. That's not the problem we're requiring our attention right now. We need to figure out how we're going to survive. Calder is threatening to bomb us again. If we don't hand over the girl by tomorrow, they will launch an all-out assault. Crap. I know I'm not a military man, but I don't see how we can survive another assault. As long as the Great Owl flies, we have no chance of victory. But we won the last battle. True, but in that battle, bombs were dropped in a fixed area only. They weren't trying to win, they just wanted to display their power. Which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they decided to start bombing our forces directly. Like I said, victory would be impossible. I can't stand this! That man is simply toying with us! He can just bide his time until we surrender Isabella to him! Commander, what are we going to do? Isabella stays with us. We aren't going to abandon anyone. Perhaps you think it is noble to die for your principles, but I disagree. Gage! I am not going to lead my people on a suicide mission. The life of one girl against the lives of all of us seems an easy choice. What's wrong with you, Gage? How can you think of handing her over to that monster? General Forsyth ordered us to protect the lives of his troops. That is our only duty. Or has your newfound love of Ruin all caught at your judgment? You're a jerk! You know that? And did you forget what happened to Forsyth? He surrendered with honor and got a bullet in the back for his troubles! Calder isn't going to take the girl and just walk away to let us live in peace. Tasha has a point. A very big point. He'll take her and then bomb us all into the ground. I say we fight to the last man. Commander, we need a decision. I made my decision. She stays. We all stay. Things looked like before, and yet we managed to come around. Right? As long as there's life, there's hope. That's enough! The civilians are tired of your fighting and your lies! This asshole in here! Get him out of here! Get him out of my sight! Let him in here? That's what I want to know. Civilians are, civilians are agreed. We should hand over that stupid girl and end this. Then all of our problems will be over. Get him out of here! What? Hey now! Stop! Get your hands off me! Don't you know who I am? You're a pompous douchebag, that's what you are. Ready yourselves. I think Calder is coming. Meanwhile. It's her. Mary? Why are you looking at me like that? Like you don't know. There she is! Go! Get out of here! Shoot! What? You heard me! You're not wanted here anymore! You're going to get us all killed! Now get out of our sight! But... I don't understand... Everyone agrees with me! You're useless baggage! What are you still doing here? Get out of here! We can't stand the sight of you! I... I didn't... What pricks! Did they all eat troll breakfast this morning? The Great Owl is, is approaching. I know. I can hear it. Alright, Will is joining us for this fight. Fuck yes! And... Fight Tabitha. Fuck. 
we win if we, are, if we route or HQ capture. We lose if we're routed or our HQ is captured. It's tactics time, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again. Thank you, thank you. Please hold all applause until the end. Not again. I just came out to see how my faithful servant is doing. I was fine until you showed up. Quiet, servant! I have a list of complaints about you. My dresses aren't ironed, my bed isn't made, my room is covered with dust, my breakfast isn't prepared, my floors aren't washed, my windows aren't cleaned, my tub isn't crafted, my shower is covered in mildew, the center tank needs a good scrubbing. Stop! Please, just... just stop. I really have a lot of other things to be thinking about right now. I give you wonderful advice since you refuse to be my servant. It's not a head-end job, you know. There are career advancement opportunities. If I liked you, you would become my chauffeur, or my scullery maid. That's really okay. Well, I'll give you one more chance. I'm going to give you some great battle tips, and you think they're useful. You agree to enter lifetime of servitude. Totally fair, right? Please stop talking. Transport your infantry to the missile silos in the northwest and southeast. Then fire missiles of the rockets to reduce the risk of interest attacks. I'll wait for you to separate until the great owl is finished attacking. When you're ready, take the enemy's first support and head toward their HQ. So I am my servant now? Look, I appreciate the advice, but... Great! You'll do it! I'm so happy I'll even give you a little chip to sleep in. You should stop talking if I pretend to fall asleep. And that's over today. Now, servant, go get my shoes! Uh... So yeah! The Great Owl will periodically start attacking you starting in the third turn. So it's going to be wise to keep your units separated until until the Great Owl stops attacking, which will be several turns after the initial assault. Or turns, or days. Whatever the case, you want to work fast to uh, get sh get shit going. The Great Owl will tar will start will you end up will primarily target the group with the high the group with the highest monetary value within range. So you can use that to your advantage if you, pl if you plan that accordingly. And I mean a fucking accordingly. Well, over the first turn, you might as well make as good an impression as any. If you want to be smart about it, you should probably just group your landers in useless units you're not going to even bother using together and just have them soak up the damage from the Great Elf for, for at least a couple of turns. So I'm right now. Oh, this is so exciting! I can't wait! The Great Owl will be in attack range within minutes. So another turn to uh, get a hold of ourselves. Otherwise, you separate your battleships from 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 most of the from most of your party members, your units, because <laughs> they're the most expensive units you have.
And on my turn. Yes, yes, she'll take my battleship. How cute. The Great Alistair in its bombing run. It's targeting our troops. All units disperse! Large troops are an easy target! Yeah, they have a tank to play for whatever reason. Let's catch with that. isn't much I can do. I put something there that's it. That's what you're probably going to attack. Then, then again, that's it's probably going to be attacked anyway. But I'm trying to I'm trying to cope here, guys. Can't really think of anything to do. Either this section's going to be attacked or this section's going to be attacked. One of the two. I'm not counting on this section getting attacked though, it's probably well it's it's also likely. Yeah, looks like one of the battleships and that and that one war tank was in range to affect both of them. Point. Yes! Let's keep the distractions going! Oh, you so funny! You so funny! Pretty sure another one's about to come in and close in on us. That ain't cool. I mean, from that end. Uh, oh, there's a sub, they got a sub deployed. They deployed anti tank too? Fucking bastards.
want to consolidate my chances, you know. At least a marginally better chance of getting uh, getting lucky. Oh, game, you still so funny. You still very funny. You should be a comedian. Battle of laughter here. Oh, there goes my thing. But that did. Oh, I had to crew. Oh, lot of sub. I'm here! Can you hear me? Oh, it's you! So you remember how to make emergency communications? Don't push yourself too hard, dear. You know how fragile you are. Promise me. Hmm? Promise you what, sweetie? I don't care what you do with me. I just want you to leave them alone. You're a curious fisherman, aren't you? Your sister's love and chaos and death when you embrace mercy. This is a worse design for than I anticipated. I'm... I'm not like them. Listen to me, Isabella. What an absurd name! I want you to join us on the Great Owl. I'm sure you can find something for you to do. Some experiment or other. What? You seem confused. You said you wanted to dissect me to analyze my malfunction. Is that why you want me? Hmm. I didn't say that, didn't I? I'm afraid that was a lie. You are not important to me in the least. I have countless identical copies of you. What's another more or less? Th then why? Dear girl, I was interested in them. I could try the moral to them to make these people fight amongst themselves. I was curious how they would react. That is all. Dude, are you like... Are you like Isaka's brother or something? You're terrible! Don't take that time with your father, young lady. You are not one, aren't you? What did those people do to you? We can experiment on such things later. Cyrus, turn about. Secure the product you fly to the nearest base. Father, when will your madness end? Eh, give them to say, son? I know I am not human. I know that you made me in a lab. But I will no longer stand idly by and let you do this. Whoa, what? You treat us like puppets. Toys to be used and broken and then discarded. My, my, Cyrus, you are a perceptive boy. That's exactly what you are to me. A puppet. A plaything. No, I am a person. I am real! Hm. I don't much care for this line of reasoning. I may need to get another model. I don't understand why, but it seems the Great Owl's retreating. Who cares why? Let's take our chance and finish this! And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have our opening! Next time on Advance Wars Days of Ruin. See you later.